Well, the Roadrunner's back. This time, it's to smooth it out. It's time to do it. Cam dropped it off to me last night. Uh, we, uh, last time I was in here is when it became the satin white. That was when we stripped all the old orange and multi layers of paint off the exterior and uh, put the epoxy white on it. And now it is time to do the bodywork to it and make it so that it is ready to go to the real color. God, that's beautiful. I love that color. Anyway, that's what color this car is going to be. But before we can even talk about paint, we got a lot, a lot of work to do. Now, the good thing about the Roadrunner is pretty much all the rust and rot is gone. That was in the trunk floor and the quarters and the lower and little drops from the floor down to the quarter. All that was taken care of years ago. I did that years ago. I think that was before we even had the channel. Yeah, positive it was. It's been quite a while. So it got a full trunk floor. It got lower quarter patch sections in the back and tried out something new on that. Well, it was new to me. And that was some panel bonding. And so far, so good. That's that's worked, that's stayed. So we're looking good there, but there's just a lot of body work to do to this car. And um, the, even though there's not much rot, um, <laughs> there's plenty of work. As far as rust, um, you can see this when we stripped it, I found this, this one little speck right here, that's a little bit of rust through. So it's going to get a patch here. Um, it's had plenty of work done on this door before and this time we're going to do it right. But as far as rust, that's it. There's some other areas we got to deal with. But um, the biggest part and the most concerning part, really, of this whole car is the cow. And if you watched the videos before when I stripped it, there's a lot going on here. There was a lot going on here. I stripped all the filler out of this cow, and there was a lot of it. But now we know we've got some issues down in here, which was, you know, a concern. We know it's there. You can see stuff going on down there. We're getting ready to yank this windshield out tonight. And... We're going to see what lurks under here because to me, as the body guy, that is the most concerning part. I don't know if we're going to have to put a cowl in it, but we're going to know here pretty quick. So the rest of it is just body work. Get it straightened out and get it smoothed out and we're good to go. Hood, it's a grabber hood, a real one, and it's rough as in straightening wise and... It, it's just overall rough. Um, pretty sure we're going to fix that. That's going to take some time. <laughs> when you walk up to a car, the first thing you see is the hood. And when you're doing it this color, this green, which is a dark color, you see everything. So it's going to be my job to make sure that you can't see all the roughness on this hood. Because if it wasn't white right now, if it was some other color, a darker color... You would be able to see from right here how rough it is. This white just really kind of hides it and makes it look, um, you know, kind of uniform. And that's really all this white was put on there for. I mean, it was, we had a period of time, a few weeks to strip it. Um, so I did. And it, that needed done. And then, you know, just sprayed it all the white color. So it was all one color. That was the first time the runner had been all one color in quite a while. So... It's uh, time to work towards the green. We'll start with the cow and move on from there. So, got the windshield wipers off. God awful design. Why did why why did a car company make it so hard to get windshield wipers off? God, I hate those things. Anyway, let's get this windshield cut out and see what we find. Let's see if we can get this done without breaking it.
ta-da, all in one piece. All right, oh. glad I had handled the windshield better than the camera. All right, let's see what we can see. Um. Wow, that is a giant gasket. Well, surprisingly, looks good up there. Um, again, like I was saying, there's some kind of adhesive down here. There's something that they've injected down in there. It's not urethane because it's very sticky. So that's going to need to be cleaned up. But... What I'm seeing down here is not a game changer. I'm assuming that's a pressed vent or a water drain. I don't know, that's odd. Let's go see if there's one of those on the other side. I don't know, oh, that rusted off, okay. Um, I see no pressed looking water drain on this side. It's missing the clip there. I don't know, That's this is um, better than I had envisioned, but I don't know. This car wasn't originally orange. So this has been out um, when they painted it orange. So, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Well, let's dig in here and see what we find. So, I got it cleaned out a little bit more. And I don't see anything that's a game changer as far as replacing this cow so far. So... Let me get all this lead. It's a lead seam right in there. Get it cleaned out. I don't know if I've got cracks in the steel or if that's the seam where the lead is. And there was some bare metal there before I etch primed it. It didn't get covered. So I'll dig that lead out of there carefully. And we'll keep digging. So this is an odd thing here. I call it odd. So this must be a factory drain hole for water that gets in there. So I saw it and I thought it was just a split. And I thought, no, it looks too perfect to be a split. But then I looked on the other side and I couldn't see one. So I thought, I don't know, that's kind of weird. So I started digging some more and I found the middle one. There it is right there. And then I started digging some more, cleaning it out. And I found the one for this side, and there it is right there. So, must be a Mopar thing. They put those in so the water would drain out. Only, it's about the same height as those stupid screw holes for the clips. So, hmm. Don't know that it was the greatest idea, but it was an idea. The assumption is, and we'll find this out probably in a little bit, because we're going to pull this dash tonight. The assumption is that it drains down into the cowl area and, you know, goes down through here and comes out down there. But Cam was getting some water in on his floor during rains. But that could have been the crappy seal because it was pretty dry rotted in places and pretty nasty. And it looks like there's a little bit of rust up in here. So I'm wondering if he had maybe a little drippy drippy coming down through here. But nonetheless, we're not too bad here like I thought we were going to be. That is a good thing. So... Cow's got a lot of work it needs, um, and I wasn't too oh, detailed <laughs> when I stripped this cow because I didn't know what we were doing with it. So I didn't want to spend too many 
hours digging paint out of there if we didn't know if it was staying or going. So we'll perfect that if we decide to keep this cow. It's got a little humpy humpy here, but not bad. So I think that's a lot. Keeping this cow is a lot better option than replacing that cow. So we'll know more once we get this out of here and I have room to really dig in here and get, I don't want to start digging in there and hook a piece of his uh, trim or dashboard. So we're going to get that out of there. <sighs> As always, more to come. If you're ever bored and sitting around with nothing to do and you're just, you know, you need some fun. You could always pull the dash out of a Roadrunner. <laughs> or, or, or you could nail your scrotum to a park bench. I think they're about the same amount of fun. I think so. So, so that's what that's what Cam's doing. I mean, not the ladder. <laughs> but if he wanted to, I'd get him a hammer. You're gonna fool me. Will you trade? You take Look. the dash out and I nail my scrotum to a park bench? Uh, you know what? Oh, oh, hey. Yeah. <laughs> Jackpot. There it is. So, and and this isn't quite, I don't know, I feel like the original dash probably had three wires underneath it. So there's a couple more now. Oh man, don't show them that. That's embarrassing. <laughs> well, have, well have Mark, fuzzy that up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll blur right. it. We'll blur it. Hey, man, it's all right. <clears throat> nah, it's all in good oh, fun. Did you Ooh, see that? It moved. Hold on. The whole thing freaking moves. Is that as far as it's going to move, though? No. Oh, oh, hold on. I haven't, lower, I haven't undone the bottom bolts yet. I just want to see oh, okay. the board here to see. So look at that. Look like? I've never seen this view. Out of all the years. I don't know. you got something really there. important looking right there. This is my uh, Dakota Digital sensor. Oh, okay. Out of all the years I've had these cars, I have not once removed the dash from any. Your silver one? Never had the. Never had the dash out. I mean, yeah. It's probably a good thing. I'm starting to think so, Pro yeah. Probably going to regret Regret Probably doing it, wish. but it's got to be done. Jeez. We got to get it out of there. Because <clears throat> we got to make this look better. Why do we have to do this again? Well, I think this needs to be body color. Because you want to see me tortured? I think this needs to be body color. No, it'll I think glare. This... It needs to be black. Not shiny. I didn't say it has to be shiny. It, it has to be, be body black. color, but super flat. See, this kind of bums me out. All the original paint got worn off the Chrysler tag. How does that so, wear off? Um, I guess it's somebody hit with lacquer. Yeah. Oh, good point. Yeah, probably right. That's too bad. But I can't do anything about that. Maybe I can repaint it, but I don't think I can get the factory where it says Chrysler Corporation on it. I don't think I can redo that. Jeez, I don't have my glasses on. Is that what that says? Yeah, it oh, says okay. Chrysler Corporation real faintly in there. Hmm. Well, yeah. there's probably somebody that redoes that. I mean, people restore these things all the time, so... They're probably idiots. You can yeah. reach out to yeah, I imagine. graveyard cars, and I'm sure they'll tell you what you need to do. <laughs> All right, so we'll be back when we get this dash out, and we'll see how... Ouch! <laughs> God damn it. We'll be back after we get that nail and Cam's scrotum to a park bench. <laughs> Tune in for that. Yeah. Look at that. We're both panting like a couple of dogs have been chasing balls across the yard for all day. That's... Chasing balls. He's a chasing balls. Um, look at that. She's naked. <laughs> she My naked. God, look at all that. All that shit's for the mega sport. Are you, are you ever going to be able to get this back together? Man, don't say shit will this, like that. <laughs> will this thing ever run again? Yes, of course it will. Just like I said, when you get it to that one point, it ends up like... Are you my friend? Or it ends up like a Cadillac or a Monza. Or, or a truck that's only going to take a hundred days. <laughs> need, need I remind you where this was before Power Tour? And by, and by the way, you, your Roadrunner is square between oh. my truck and its next life. Oh man, this looks fun. This was so much fun. I really love the part where I just started yanking wires out. <laughs> Shit was popping and cracking and. All kinds of stuff. Um, so before we get too far, we need to take out the windshield wiper yeah. arms. They're easy to get to at this pivots. point. Pivots, yeah. It looks like they're, and I've they're fairly them, easy so to get they're, to. They're going to work forever. Plus, the, it's funny. Those, those rubbers that are behind it, they're not that old. And they're already showing their age. Yeah, they look so, like crap. 
I'm not surprised they leak. They're a pain in the ass to fix. We'll put yep. Them in. All right. Well, I got to tell you, underneath there looks pretty freaking good. Really? This is what I was worried about. I don't see anything here. Yeah, that, I don't. Aside from, you don't think don't all that leak was just a poor, the joke's on us, it was just the window seal? Well, it probably was. <laughs> I mean, no the window hole. sill was shot. It was There's no as holes dry in and it. as it's rotten just, as could be. It's just all window seal issue, and it's fine, and we just did a lot of work. That dash had to come out either way. You were going to clean up suppose, that dash and make it look nice. that's got, like, cancer or anything. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that is the epitome of asbestos right there. We're, <laughs> <laughs> <I'm fine. laughs> I'm fine. Shit. We're breaking the law in California right now. Uh, well, we're not in California, unfortunately. <laughs> Thank God. Well, that, shit, that was easy. Yeah. I got to get one of those easy buttons. I'm um, glad you thought so. It didn't yeah. feel that easy. All right, well. We'll be back later. We're going to, I don't know, maybe tear out the headliner next. God. That'll be fun. Maybe we'll wait for another day on that. But... I don't know anything about it. Ah! <laughs> I know you broke it. No, it's screwed in there. Look at that. You're learning new shit every day. Look at this. Yes. Yes, it is. And then there's this, which will probably... Oh, yeah. Oh, it's... Yeah. yeah, it's fine. No We're problem. Gonna... See? And, and, of course, it's not old at all. No, it's Actually, not old. That's, that's... Don't! Actually, what are you that's... doing? I'm testing the fabric. And don't it's actually test, in really good shape. Don't test the fabric. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, we don't I want to replace that if we don't have to. Well then why are we taking it off? Well it's um because I gotta get Oh yeah, you gotta do roof work. Yeah, there's work on the roof like that needs to be done. Oh, it is stressed at the Yeah, I don't think we're gonna save it. I really don't. Well, we're gonna be gentle with it. We're gonna we're gonna there's something really sharp over here though i can't tell what it is but you're telling it. me i'm gonna spend four hours being gentle with something i'm gonna throw away is that what it is no maybe yeah oh no, we're I'm not i'm replacing it anyway Why well let's thing? just not do that though i'll All take right. care of that i'll work on All that right. look i'm not saying I'll i won't help that. you i'm saying i don't i question your methods <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'll take care of that let me work on that okay because right. then i gotta work my way back because i gotta take pull the back glass out again anyway I say again, like I've done it before. Oh, that's because I have. Okay. Yeah, and the best part of that is, is that that glass isn't coming back either. The front might, but the back one not. Well, let's hope it doesn't, because it wasn't coming back last time, but it was on well, intergalactic back order. How did I know it'd take a while to remake that shit? And then they just eventually just canceled your order, didn't they? Well, I might have something to do with that. Well, hope so. Yeah, yeah. All right. The. Roadrunner is officially disabled. I had this crazy idea in my head that this thing would still be drivable and moving when we pulled the dash out. Mm. Little did I know that um, no, I don't think that's gonna that, <laughs> that when we pulled this out, it was going to have all the damn... I thought we'd just be pulling out the top and the shell and... Uh, mm. Well, I learned Mopars are bad. Well, duh. You know what else I did learn, though? Yeah. Folks, pay close attention to this. See that? Uh, you suck. That's body color. <laughs> you suck. See, see this? Top of the dash? See that? That's body color. I used to like you. <laughs> You know what that has to be when we're done. Ugly. It has to be body color. Yeah, okay. You know how those Mopar purists are. You know how those Chrysler purists are. Hey, we got to make the top of that dash that color. Nobody ever confused me with a purist. Let's start there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I would say these two old bastards are done tearing out this, tearing up this car tonight. Let's come back tomorrow and do some more. Oh, God, tomorrow? <laughs> so we're back out tonight. Working on the Roadrunner. Going to get this headliner pulled out. Started taking off some of the seals around here because it has a piece of trim that overlaps this lip that holds the edge of the headliner on. So all that had to come out. And I like the fact that I don't think this has been out before. That's the original green under there. 
and you can see some overspray of the prior colors along there which it's a red in here I don't know if they actually painted this car red or yeah I don't know as we dig a little deeper we'll find out more but I have seen some red like a bright red not like red primer like uh, that's not really the red that I'm talking about but that's a different shade of orange <laughs> so but yeah I don't know what that is anyway um I don't think that's ever been on so that's out and I'm gonna pop this seat belt deal off grab my impact and hit both sides there I'll pop off the other side gonna get the dome light out and I am going to slowly but surely and safely get that headliner pulled out we'll see what we got to deal with you know I didn't even think about the back I don't know I don't know if I have to have that back window out to get to that can't remember if it goes around the lip on the pinch weld it couldn't go along the pinch weld not lap around it nah it couldn't okay I'll let you know though because I should know soon so I was feeling kind of bad pulling this headliner for the little bit of work that I had to get done on the roof but there's a couple spots I really want to get and, and work out and if I had to put a stud gun on it I did not trust what was above that headliner and now I'm glad we did because we got some critters that have been living up there. Yep, yep, yep. So as soon as I pop the edges and acorns and all kinds of other crap started falling out, I, I knew we were in a little bit of trouble. So other than the nastiness um, of all that stuff raining down on me while I was in there, it's really not too bad. Once you get the edges untucked, because they just have these really sharp teeth that go around that grab onto the headliner. Um, I don't know if you can see them. Yeah. Yeah, there's a couple of them right there. There's one of them right there. So they just got those sharp little point edges. And it's all the way around. And then there's these little clips along the pinch weld right here. Real easy. And then about a bajillion of those teeth in the back along the top of the back glass. I don't know. You might be able to see some of that back here. But anyway... If you ever need to put a a uh, headliner in your um, Mopar, what is this thing? An A B C D E F G body? I don't remember. Um, it's not that bad. It's got these metal, these little steel cross members that go across. Um, ugh. Anyway, ew, kind of crusty. So I'll just pop those out now and should be able to get it. Whew. Let's see how this finishes up. Well, other than, you know, breathing in some asbestos and rat shit, really wasn't too bad. <laughs> so, I'll, uh, I'll show you the headliner itself. It came up pretty good. Is that? No. Oh. Must be a mouse nest. Pretty crusty under here. But, Nothing bad so far. Nothing unexpected, really. So, the headliner I got out without any problems. It, I mean, Cam's right. It's pretty crusty along the edge. It's got a couple spots that are questionable. I'm sure it's the original one. Um, I don't know how much one of these costs. And I'm sure he'd love to put a new one in it. But I didn't want to tear it up because... It's usable. We have to clean it up and um, put it back in. I think we could pull that off. Um, I don't know. Let's we'll see. The, the camera picks up like some discoloration here for some reason. But that's not really, I mean, you can see that a little bit in real life. It just needs cleaned. And I'm sure a blowgun gently and probably a little bit of gentle soap and water would do a number on this um it's just mm, yum and there's the you know 
crap that's full of probably asbestos that I just breathed in. Yeah, it's going to be fine. Everything will be fine. All right. Off we go to the next project, which will be pulling out some more interior. These doors got to come apart. The quarter trim's got to come out. Might as well get those seats completely out because there'll be sparks going. There'll be a lot of grinding. There's going to be a lot of body work. And really, um, I think Cam's either got new carpet or is putting new carpet in. It was a plan, too. So, I think it's pretty crusty in places. And we talked about a lot of different things today as far as interior. Because I've got him going on the on the kick on the body color on the dash. Because, you know, I think it's going to look good. <clears throat> um, right in on the top of the dash. And this part, honestly, he never noticed that. Which, you know, when it's in the car, you can't tell that it's the green, really. So, I don't know if that'll go back green, because really it's not that noticeable. I think it would look really cool gloss green there. Um, and I was suggesting that he just do some green accents on the inside. So, top of the, top of the dash, body color, but super flat, right? Because he said... Just that semi-gloss black that's on it now would give him glare. So obviously you want that flat. And we talked about, you know, some other things. Just some hints of greens in here. This is um, part of the door, this black. He's talking about maybe doing that green. I don't know. I kind of like that black. You know, it's not my car. But I think these would look good green. And maybe that. Just some green hints. And don't get me wrong. I am a fan of wood green. But it's got its place. And if there is no other wood grain in this entire car or anywhere near this car, why have it on the console? So my suggestion was maybe the wood grain black and what's chrome painted the green or paint where the wood grain is green and, you know, Make some of the other stuff black. I don't know. But I think some hints of green in this interior, or the body color, would be really cool. We also talked about this package tray. It's hard to say. This is that stuff that's in a lot of old 60s and 70s cars. It's like a pressed cardboard, textured crap. Because I think the day it rolled off the factory, as soon as it got off the plant... Um, as soon as it got dirty, this is what you were stuck with. You can't clean that stuff. It's just nasty. So I suggested we pull that out and I put a layer of fiberglass over the whole thing and smooth it. Paint a body color. Um, I think it would look really good. So, and probably, I don't know back there if with the gloss or semi- I don't know what the difference would be, but got to get rid of that because it just looks horrible. I mean, like the water stains and spots and it's just the first thing, thing you see when you walk up to the back of this car and that needs to go. So we talked about a lot of stuff today, but man, there's so much to do to this car before we even consider paint and interior. So let's just, um, let's keep rolling.